everyone. I'm Sanne Erve, and I'm here today with Rob and René from Adobe. Welcome. I am super excited to learn more about how organizations can live up to the promise of providing contextual experiences with help of Adobe Journey Optimizer and Customer Journey Analytics. So René, let's start with you. Can you tell us a little bit more about Adobe Journey Optimizer? Absolutely, and thank you for, for having us. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to share more on Adobe Journey Optimizer with you today. As you've heard us say before, experience matters more than ever. The customer sees the collection of all interactions with the brand as the brand itself. Experience actually is the new brand. Consumers expect the companies they interact with to know them and anticipate their needs. And meeting these expectations can be quite challenging. It requires combining data from multiple solutions within their tech stacks to get a clear picture of each individual customer and act on those real-time insights to deliver that truly connected experience. And that's where we come in. Adobe Journey Optimizer is an agile and scalable application built natively on Adobe Experience Platform. It's designed for orchestrating and delivering personalized, connected customer journeys across any app, device, screen, or channel. Both tailored individual communications, like a push notification for an item that a customer uh, previously wanted to buy but was out of stock, as well as scheduled omni-channel marketing campaigns, such as weekly promotions for a retail store and all of that within the same application. So when it comes to the innovations and capabilities that we prioritized for Adobe Journey Optimizer, we, th we thought about them across three main areas of focus that drive value for our customers. The first one is real-time customer insights and engagement. An integrated profile fuses live data from all sources across touch uh, customer touchpoints, including behavioral, transactional, financial, and operational data. With this, you can optimize personal and contextual experiences for customers in their time. The second one is modern omni-channel orchestration execution, a single canvas on which to harmonize and optimize the customer journey for one-to-one -one customer engagement and marketing outreach to help brands deliver more value across the customer lifecycle. Accelerate time to market and break down both technology and organizational silos to ensure a more seamless and consistent customer journey. The third one is intelligent decisioning and personalization. With Adobe Journey Optimizer, brands can apply centralized decisioning and incorporate artificial intelligence and machine learning to surface predictive insights throughout the customer experience, making it easier to automate decisions and optimize the experience at scale. So built with end-to-end -end scale, speed, and flexibility to meet these expectations of any enterprise, with the ease of use to meet the needs of the modern lifecycle marketer and customer experience practitioner. The API-first architecture and open framework allows organizations to fuse data from all marketing and customer data sources, like your CRM, Slack, etc., and easily connect with external marketing and customer touchpoints for delivery of actions, offers, and contents. So now we've heard the theory. I actually like to see it in practice. And I know that you've prepared a demo for us. Can you please show us the demo? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so I have prepared something uh, to give you a bit of an idea of what it looks like in practice. So to give you a bit of background for the demo, we are using the fictitious brand Luma, a fitness apparel retailer. Luma has a new line of high-end yoga apparel, and they're trying to gain ground with men. They want to create an email and mobile marketing campaign promoting their new line, and they want the messages to be personalized. They also want to be able to follow up with anyone who comes to their website as a result of the campaign, but abandons their cart. But they want to make sure that it's done in a smart and personalized way. This is the home screen where you're looking at right now, and this is where we get started. There are four, four main parts to this demo that showcase Journey Optimizer's key capabilities. First, we're going to build our audience. Adobe Journey Optimizer really harnesses the power of the unified customer profile. So you can go beyond the basic segment and speak to the individual by leveraging attributes from the profile in your segments. It also actively listens for external signals from uh, data sources across the customer journey to learn and anticipate the next best action. Second, we're going to look at the offer library, which powers personalized offers across channels at scale. Third, we're going to create an email and bring in an offer from that offer catalog so the email is personalized uh, according to the data from the Unifier profile. You'll see how in the message designer, you can create and personalize email and mobile messages with a drag and drop interface. And finally, we're going to orchestrate a journey 
that uses both the audience that we created and an email that has the offer in it. We'll show you the journey canvas, which allows you to pair real-time customer profile with message orchestration and delivery for consistent experiences. So first, we navigate to segments. This is an overview of all the existing segments in the system. All are reusable across all processes. And for the sake of this demo, we're going to create a new segment. With segmentation, there are three elements that go into each one. First, you have attributes, which are things like gender and other details from the profile. Second, you have events, which are the experience events and real-time behavioral data. Third, audiences, which is basically creating a compound audience by combining one or more of the existing audiences together. Today, we're only going to focus on the first two, attributes and events. So we'll start by adding some attributes from the customer profile. You can either search for those attributes or scroll through the list. I'll just click on Axiom individual profile, bringing up a list of all the attributes associated with it. So now I'm going to look for a country and drag and drop that into the screen where it says uh, start a new segment. Right now I have a segment containing everyone that lives in the United States. Next I want to add a propensity score to this segment. And we have determined that a propensity score that is equal or higher than uh, 78 uh, defines a high, um, a high profile uh, customer. So next, I want to add some event-based data to the segments. In our case, we're looking for someone who follows a typical abandoned cart journey. In other words, they get an email, they click a link and view a product, but they don't make the purchase. So starting with the email clicked event, which I can also just drag and drop into the interface. This is uh, the first step of my segment. Next, I want to um, add product views, because this is a logical step after someone clicked on the email. And third, I'm looking for a purchase that follows the product view. The purchase can also be um, a save for later, if we're talking about a conversion. So I'm going to add that just under purchases. But what I want to do for this segment is I want to exclude everyone uh, that has a purchase because I'm looking for the ones that did not. So I'm just going to click exclude. Also, uh, I don't want an, uh, someone that uh, falls in both categories, so I'm changing this one to or. All right, now we have a segment of people who clicked on an email, viewed the product, and either didn't make a purchase or didn't save for later. We can also add a time frame and do a lot more. Um, but for the sake of the demo, we'll stop here. So we're just going to give our segment a name, which is uh, Luma Abandoned Cart, and we're going to save it. Of course, because this is a demo environment, there's no data and no live campaigns. So you see an audience size of zero. But in production, this is where you'll see the estimated audience size of the segment that you just created. And now you can see how Adobe Journey Optimizer really harnesses the power of the unified customer profile so you can go beyond the basic segment and speak to the individual by leveraging attributes from the profile and actively listening for external signals. So now that we identified the people that we want to target, we can go have a look at the offer library. So this is where you can create and manage offers, eligibility rules, and associated objects for any profile or recip recipient across any channel. In this case, we have our fictitious retail brand, Luma, and the various offers we've already created. So let's dive into one of these offers. When you click on an offer, you'll see various metadata associated with it, as well as some tags um, that give a bit more information about the offer. You'll also see the different types of representations of the offer, because this is a cross-channel offer. We may need to display this one in multiple ways, and you'll see all of those here. When it comes to choosing the visual assets for a representation, you can make use of Adobe Experience Manager Assets Essentials. It's a centralized location for asset management, making it easy to reuse assets uh, needed for personalized messages and offers. You also see the eligibility. Who can actually see these offers? Because they have rules and intelligence around them, only the people that we designate will be able to see the individual offers. So from here, I want to go back to the menu and start building the actual message. Under Messages, you see um, all of the messages that you've already created. 
And you can clearly see the status of each one. Now you can start to see the benefit of it all being built in the same application. We don't have to leave the tool at all as we go from segments to offers to messages. So let's go ahead and see how the visual editor works for the message designer by looking at Luma weekly offers. What's interesting about this and different from tools of the past, email and other channels were separate processes. Here in Journey Optimizer, it's all built into the same application and same UI. So um, the system will determine based on the inputs that you have given or in the future with AI, if it should send an email or maybe a push notification that you've made in the same place. If you want to edit this email, we go over to the right hand navigation and click on email designer. This opens up the visual editor. I want to change the hero banner in this one. So I can just click it and you see this little black bar that's appeared above, above the image. And from here on, I can uh, check into AEMSS Essentials that I just mentioned and just pull a fresh image in. So you can see how easy it is to actually change uh, and add new images. The visual editor also makes it easy to just highlight text and enter a new copy, um, or maybe replace it with some personalization. So imagine I want to personalize this with someone's favorite color. Let me just go for a search and add it here. If people are intimidated by seeing code and maybe thinking that this seems too technical, you can come down to the bottom and click Validate. That automatically validates and tells you if there are no errors. I save, and now you see the personalization showing up in the visual editor. But let's be honest, this type of dynamic content is table stakes. Let's talk about something that really only Adobe is doing. Let's replace this static hero image with something more dynamic and more personalized. You can see in the palette on the left um, that we have a possibility to add an offer. I add it here. And um, when I want to define the actual offer, I just choose Add Personalization Offer Decisioning. All the placements that we've previ previously uh, made and determined um, go up in here. So in the drop-down image, I can choose the placement. And right now, I want to choose the email hero image. And it shows all of the products offers that we've made. So I have multiple offers associated with this collection. So I can cycle through each one by clicking the blue arrow. Also, if at any time I want to have a view of what this responsive email looks like on a mobile phone, for instance, I can just click here and switch, uh, switch to view. So since we're satisfied with this email uh, and it looks good, it looks personalized, we go ahead and save and next publish the email. We'll get a notification uh, that the message publication was successful. And we go back to the menu where we see that the status of our message has changed to published. So now that we've built our, uh, our message, we go to um, the final bit, which is we want to put it into action and take a look at how to orchestrate a journey. So here we have a list of all of the um, journeys uh, that we have at the moment, uh, including uh, the draft messages. So let's take a look at one of those, which is Luma product offers. On the left-hand side of, of this journey builder, you see three things, events, orchestration, and actions. Events are what kick off the journey, like an email clicked. Orchestration is different paths or conditions that help orchestrate the journey, like no open support case or end. And actions are what you want to happen as a result of some kind of trigger, like sending the message. It is what happens when the journey executes. And of course, the main attraction here is the canvas where you build the journey. The journey we've set up here is to send an offer to those high propensity customers who have abandoned their shopping cart. So first, we'll send an email or push message to our segment, and then wait for an event to happen that triggers the rest of the journey. We're looking to see if they engage with the message. Um, so this could be both an email click or a mobile click. And this actually highlights one of the benefits of Journey Optimizer. In older tools, you needed to uh, put a wait step in here. So you would have to guess on the best time frame and tell the journey to wait two days or so. With this tool, the instant engagement happens. It automatically moves the customer to the next step. So it just highlights how once you enter the journey, you move through as an individual. 
and no two individuals are moving along at the same rate. If a customer engages, the journey ends. If not, we'll send a follow-up message. But before we do that, we want to make sure it's still relevant. So we add in a step to check if they have not already converted. If not, we'll send them a personalized offer. But to get started, we'll click on the first bit, which is Read Segments. You can see that we've already got the audience we created in the beginning. Luma Product View Abandoned, tar targeting those high propensity customers who abandoned their cart. To reiterate, here we start with the segments, but you can also create one-to-one -one journeys based on experience events. I want to make sure that I'm not providing an offer to customers who have an open support case. So we added a condition here. We've decided that if people have an open case, they'll be removed from the journey before the first email even gets sent. You can also add a path here for different actions to happen for a customer that does have an open support case by simply clicking Add a Path. Next, if you want to see what we're actually going to uh, show, we click on the blue message icon. What's happening here is it's going to send an email or push notification. We built both, remember. And we've set the parameters so the system knows which one to send to which profile. For this journey, we've already got a build, so it has our message selected. But if we build it this journey from scratch, we would just select the message here in the pop-up menu. Now to recap and highlight what's going on in the first three steps. First, we incorporated the audience that was just built by lever leveraging the customer profile data. Second, we incorporated third-party data into the journey. And third, we incorporated a highly personalized one-to-one -one message for everyone who comes to the journey. Those three steps are the most important to showcase the key value pillars that I mentioned before. The real-time customer insights and engagements, an integrated profile that fuses live data from all sources across customer touchpoints, including behavioral, transactional, financial, and operational. Second is the modern omnichannel orchestration and execution, so this single canvas on which to optimize the customer journey for one-to-one -one customer engagement and marketing outreach. And the third one, intelligent decisioning and personalization, making it easier to automate decisions and optimize experience at scale. So now we're ready to publish. We go to the top right and publish our journey. And from here on, we can see that our journey is now live. After time, we can also check how our journey is doing by visiting the report section uh, over here. But for now, this is how our journey starts. And um, I hope you get a bit of an idea of how this could help you uh, and your organization. Thank you, Renee, for giving us proper insights on the Adobe Journey Optimizer and the possibilities it has to offer. My pleasure.